and welcome to Mindful Monday with Tamara and the University of California Davis. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Davis so we'll be practicing outside but if you need to be indoors please be comfortable make sure that you have enough water if you're outdoors and uh, some shade. <laughs> But anyway, um, so today is Mindful Monday. It is a easy to follow practice available to all levels of experience. Still feel free to modify if something does not feel right for you. We will be playing some soft music in the background, but if we have any issues like last week, I don't know if who watched the class last week we had some technical difficulties um, then I'll, I'll have to turn it off but for now just go ahead and find a comfortable seat wherever you're at either inside or outside and make sure that you have a cushion so I have my favorite meditation cushion but any cushion works what is important is that you can sit with your spine extended and your knees slightly lower than your hips. I'm gonna go ahead and scoot back a little bit so you can see that better. <clears throat> so it can either be cross-legged like this or with your knees folded back. And you can also sit on a chair sit on the edge of your bed is totally fine so what we'll do in these these first moments these first minutes of our practice is a very simple mindful meditation where we are focusing our attention on our inner sensing focusing our attention on the breath and the feelings the sensations the five senses, the information that we're gathering from the environment. And this way we're training our, our brain to be present with the here and now. And we're giving our mind a break from thinking about the past or the future into fantasy land <laughs> because both the past and the future are just an imagination right now. The only thing that is real is the present moment. Memories only exist as files that we can go back and try to um, try to reconstruct to the present moment. So even our memories, it doesn't matter how vivid they are, they are still uh, recollection in our mind. So even memories can change and they can skew away from it's not the same as the actual experience is what I'm trying to say so what we have in this moment what our brain is perceiving in this moment is our direct connection to reality of the here and now so we want to train our brain to feel and to connect to that that rooting into reality of the present moment and that is going to help us a lot in um, bringing ourselves to a sense of peace and ease. When we get caught up in our mind with thoughts of the future, of predicting and trying to imagine the different case scenarios of the future, we have or we tend to have a negative bias. It's the way that we evolved. We evolved and we survived as a species because we developed well, one of the theories uh, and one of the things that helped um, to our survival and to be so successful as a species is because we always were capable of predicting the worst case scenario. It's like, oh, if we run into that savanna, we've seen some lions there and we're more likely to be hunted by those lions. So let's go the other, the other way. So we always have this tendency and it's uh, something that has been studied in 
neuroscience is a negative bias and it's just a survival mechanism. So it's important for us to understand and to use these natural instincts to our advantage, not to stress out about life, but to actually be conscious of it and say, oh yeah, I can predict all these negative outcomes. But you know what, right here, right now, I'm totally fine. And that way we don't stress out in thinking about those negative possibilities. Okay, so those are my 50 cents of neuroscience and why it is helpful to meditate <laughs> and why it is helpful to be present with the here and now. So let's practice. In your seat and make sure that you are very comfortable in your upright seated position so you don't have to adjust during our time that we're committing to the meditation. So once you've found that comfortable seat, go ahead and take a few circles with your shoulders to relax and release the tension in your back, in your shoulders. Let's take a big breath, inhaling to reach our arms up. And exhale to release. Let's do two more big breaths like this. and inhale reach the arms up again and this time turn to your left reaching for your left knee with your right hand let's hold here and take three deep breaths in this twist opening the chest take the shoulders back Inhale, reach the arms up and let's change to the other side. Inhale, the arms up and come back to center. Resting your hands on your thighs or on your knees. On the inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round the back, bring the belly in. And let's do two more breaths like this, opening, arching the spine. Exhale, belly in, round your back. And then finding neutral position, finding your center. Close your eyes. <sighs> Take a deep breath, exhaling through your mouth and just let your whole body settle into your seat. And let yourself lean a little bit forward and a little bit back. And let this be a kind of like a, a reflection of the ways in which sometimes during our day we lean forward into the future with our mind and we can also lean back into the past into our memory files and let's try to find the center let's try to find the place where we are absolutely in the center of gravity there's no effort leaning forward, there's no effort leaning back, but we are completely comfortable in the present. We're completely in our center, in the here and now. And let your breath travel up and down through 
through that central channel, through that center of gravity, through that space of the here and now. So with the inhale, let the sit bones root down into the floor as you press down into the earth to extend the spine to inhale long. And on the exhale, let everything come back to the center, to your, the central part of your body between your belly button and your low ribs. And observe with your eyes closed, observe that moment of the inhale expanding from the center out to root into the earth and lengthen to the sky. And exhale to bring everything back to your center. And once you've really clarified this visualization and this feeling with the breath, this pulse, this pulsing in the here and now, we'll count 10 full breaths following this visualization with the breath. Let's begin. Take a full breath, expand out through the sides of your rib cage, and exhale through your mouth, releasing everything. Softly open your eyes and reach the arms up, taking a big breath. Interlace your fingers and press the palms up. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And now make small circles with your rib cage, going around that central axis, that central channel of the here and now, the center of our being in the present. And change direction, go the other way. bring it back to center and release. Now interlace your fingers behind your back and if this is uncomfortable you can hold a small towel behind you so there's more space between your hands. Extend the arms behind you, take the shoulders back and down, move your neck a little bit. And 
and release. All right. Go ahead and extend your legs. You can come off of your seat. Take the legs out, shake them out. Shake out the knees and circle your ankles, spreading the toes. Circle your ankles in both directions. All right, and let's come onto all fours on your mat. I'm gonna keep the cushion to put my knees on the cushion and protect my knees from the hard floor. All right, and circles with your hips. with your inhale slide your fingers up the inside of the other arm open and reach up exhale bring the hand down and alternate side to side Last one. And let's come into downward dog with the legs wide, feet wide as your mat. And a little bit of a sway here side to side. back towards your feet keep the knees bent and slowly roll up to standing all right standing with your feet wide knees slightly bent inhale reach up and on your exhale bring the hands together Curl the spine and dive in the center. Arch the spine to come up. So it's like you're creating a wave with the body. I'm gonna show it on profile. Now diving down the side, going down your leg and bringing it back up and diving down the other side. Soft with the body, bend in the knees, finding fluidity, finding ease.
One more to each side. And release. Inhale the arms up. Bend the knees. Touch the floor. And walk the hands back or forward for downward dog. And here, creating a wave with your spine. Bend the knees and then lift the belly, bringing it forward. And bring the knees down, sit back. Child's pose, letting your hands rest back by your feet. here in downward dog you can bend your knees a little bit if you'd like extend the spine and feel the four corners of this pose the hands the feet your connection to the earth and take a moment to breathe into the stability of these four corners and the stability of your connection your root rooting into the earth. And bring your knees down. Let's move our shoulders a little bit. So from all fours, and I'm gonna show it from here, Take your hands wide. A little bit more here. So with your hands wide, and you can let, let your head be neutral. So I'm looking at you, this is not neutral. So looking straight to the floor would be neutral. So looking straight down to the floor and move your shoulders side to side. My fingers are turned out to the sides, pointing out. Imagine that you can draw like a figure eight with your shoulders. So drawing with the right shoulder forward out to the right and back, and then left shoulder forward out to the side and back, and alternating side to side, drawing a figure eight with your shoulders. Now reach the fingers forward and take your hips back, keeping your femurs vertical, 
and let your chest drop down towards the floor. Taking the hands wide, up on your fingertips. On the inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, bring it down. Twice more. And press it back to all fours. Now keeping your knees vertical, well, I get, we'll bring the knees up in a moment. Let's bring the forearms down and let's start with our forearms parallel to each other. Now, if you have a block to put between the hands, that would be ideal so that the hands don't slide to the center and the elbows go out. So you wanna keep the forearms parallel with the palms down. And if this starts to happen, what you can do if you don't have the block is interlace the fingers. Try to keep the elbows at the width of your shoulders. Coco. <laughs> and go ahead and lift the legs. Keep pressing the forearms into the floor so that your, your neck is long but your head is not touching the floor. So push away from the floor so that the head is not touching. You can bend the knees and open the chest. So you're bringing the chest towards the thighs. And slowly release the knees back down. Bring now the arms crossed in front of your chest or in front of hands touching your shoulders and we'll bring the elbows to the floor and take the hips back. So your, your chin is resting on your wrist. Notice 
which arm is on top and go ahead and change so the other forearm is on top. Take the right leg up, circle your ankle, spread the toes, circle in both directions, and step it forward outside your right hand, pivot and lower the back heel down, and bring the arms up, belly in, strong in the legs, bend the right knee about 90 degrees. And exhale, take the arms behind you, interlace the fingers, or hold a small towel. Reach the arms back, open the chest, shoulders back and down. Open the heart. And exhale, bringing the right shoulder to the right knee. And let your arms come up and <coughs> overhead. Let the head be loose, shoulders away from the ears. Turn, move intelligently, step back, downward dog. Come forward to plank and down to your belly. Interlace your fingers behind your back or hold that towel. Lift the chest, lift the leg. Deep breaths here. release downward dog take your left leg up circle the ankle spread those toes both directions and step it forward pivot and lower the back heel down and come up Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale. Interlace your fingers behind the back or hold the towel. And this time, if you're interlacing, interlace your fingers the goofy way, the way that feels awkward. Try to break your habitual patterns. We become very unconscious even in our habitual physical patterns, not to mention the mental patterns. 
back to the center this time pause in the center feet pointing forward you can bend your knees a little bit and let yourself drop in here toes out, bend the knees, heel toe your feet closer to each other and come into a squat. Press your knees out with your elbows and if your heels are not touching the floor, you can bring the cushion under your heels to lift your heels up a little bit. your right arm in front of the right knee, open the left arm up, all right, we're still there, awesome, how's everyone doing, do a quick time check, we're doing great, all right, and now the other side, left arm in front of the left knee, open the right arm up, take the left 
arm out, thumb down, and wrap it behind your back and see if you can catch your fingers. Now this is not always accessible to everyone, so you can hold the small towel in the top hand and catch it with the other hand. So you're holding the towel, you'll be holding the towel between your hands. Okay, so keeping that connection either with your fingers or the towel, extend the back leg and lower the heel down. Open the chest, deep breath. And exhale, bow in. Bring the left shoulder to the left knee. Sometimes one side is harder than the other. In fact, most of the time because we have asymmetries in our body. So if on one side you were able to hook your fingers but not on the other side, get up, go to the kitchen, grab a small kitchen towel and use it as a strap to reach. Once you have that connection, extend the back leg lower the heel down, take a deep breath, open the chest, and exhale, bow in, right shoulder to right knee. And inhale to come up, release the arms and wave it out, loosen it up. to child's pose with your knees wide and letting your hands rest back towards your feet. I am going to move us a little bit closer. Let's see if I can move this. Okay. All right. A little bit closer. Awesome. So let's come to let's come to our back. with your knees. Go in both directions.
take the legs up, shake them out. Bring the feet down to the floor, about hip width apart, where you can touch your heels with your fingertips. On the inhale, peel the spine off the ground as you lift the arms up and over. And exhale, slowly bring it back down. Let's do three breaths like this. Take me to the higher place. Shine a light into this space. So then I can see your face. Now keep your hands on the floor. Lift your hips and Hold your towel if you weren't able to hold, to interlace the fingers behind your back. Make sure to have your towel. Go ahead and lift the hips, interlace the fingers. Press the arms down into the floor, shoulders back, chest open. Maybe even come up onto your tippy toes and really lift those hips up. Let your throat stay open, so don't let the chin Tuck in towards the chest. Keep the throat open. Squeeze the knees towards the midline. And slowly bring it down. Now if that was okay and comfortable for your neck, we're gonna take it one step up. We're gonna come into shoulder stand. Now, very important that in shoulder stand, once you have the weight on your shoulders, you do not turn your neck to look at the screen or look to the sides because you could hurt your neck. So keep the face neutral, facing up. So if you'd like, you can watch first and then get into it. So we'll start with our elbows bent, shoulders down into the floor, Press elbows into the floor, neck long, and lift the hips. So this is the action we want to keep in our arms as we come into the shoulder stand. Let the hips come down, and you're going to use momentum, swinging your legs up to lift the hips and catch with your hands, and hold your waist. Now you can stay here with your knees bent, or if you feel stable in your center of gravity, you can slowly extend the legs up. Once you come to this place, close your eyes and let yourself rest in the center of gravity, in the here and now. Feel your body, feel where you are in time and space. Bend the knees to bring them towards the shoulders. Maybe extend the legs so that the toes come to the floor up overhead. Interlace the fingers and extend the arms down on the floor. sides of your mat to slow your descent. All right. Lift your hips again, interlace the hands behind your back, and walk your feet over to the right so that your hips go over the right arm and then sit your hips down. 
So your arm comes behind your low back. Lift the hips and now walk the feet all the way to the left and lower the hips over the left arm. Remember you can be holding your towel to do this. Center, release the arms, reach them up overhead, extend the legs. Woo. And keeping the arms out to the sides, bring the legs, cross the right leg over the left. Pick your hips, take them a little bit to the right, and let the knees come all the way down to the left. Come back to center and lay on your back. Time check. Completely on your back. You can bring your cushion under your knees. Open up. to your body, left hand to your low belly, right hand to your chest. And take a moment there on your back. Connecting to your body, connecting to your center. Take a few deep breaths here. Enjoying the space of the here and now. Feeling our body where it is, exactly as it is. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, no one to be, just being, human being, here and now. And remember that right here in this center place of your being, there is no anxiety about the future and there's no regret about the past 
Everything in this moment is perfect exactly as it is. Thank you very much for following Mindful Monday today. Have a wonderful week and I will see you here on Wednesday at noon uh, Standard Pacific Time for Hardcore Vinyasa Yoga. So Wednesday will make it a little bit more challenging, a little bit more fast pace. So be prepared for some fun movement this coming Wednesday. Thank you everyone and see you soon. Ciao, ciao.